The Madden-Julian Oscillation, or MJO, is an atmospheric event that is observed primarily over the Indian and Pacific Oceans. It was discovered in 1971 by Roland Madden and Paul Julian, making it one of the more recent climate drivers to be studied. The phenomenon is characterised by two areas one of suppressed rainfall and one of enhanced rainfall. These regions move eastwards as the oscillation cycle unfolds. Each cycle of the oscillation lasts 30 to 60 days and is split into eight phases of equal length. The phenomenon usually first becomes apparent over the western Indian Ocean and it remains evident as it moves over the very warm ocean waters of the western and central tropical Pacific. This pattern of tropical rainfall then generally becomes nondescript as it moves over the cooler ocean waters of the eastern Pacific, except over the region of warmer water over the west coast of Central America. Occasionally it reappears at low amplitude over the tropical Atlantic and higher amplitude over the Indian Ocean. Most of the rain in the tropics comes from convective clouds, a type of cloud that sits high in the atmosphere and emits little long-wave radiation. Because of that, satellites with infrared sensors are easily able to detect and track the propagation of the regions of unusually enhanced or suppressed rainfall. The breakdown of the phases is as follows. Phase 1. Enhanced rainfall develops over the western Indian Ocean. Phase 2 and 3. The enhanced rainfall region moves slowly eastwards over Africa, the Indian Ocean and parts of the Indian subcontinent. Phase 4 and 5. Enhanced rainfall has reached the maritime continent, that is to say, Indonesia and the West Pacific. Phase 6, 7 and 8. Enhanced rainfall moves further eastward over the Western Pacific, eventually dying out in the Central Pacific. The MGO affects global weather in several ways. Both the onset of and breaks in summer monsoons are linked to the MJO phase, especially in the case of the Indian and Australian monsoons. There is also a strong link between the MJO phase and tropical cyclones. The region of increased rainfall is favourable for the development of cyclones. So, as the enhanced rainfall shifts eastward from the Western Pacific to the Eastern Pacific and finally to the Atlantic Basin, so does the region with favourable conditions for cyclone generation. What's more, there's a connection between the MGO phase and the intensity of rainfall in Africa, as well as winter precipitation in the Western USA. Evidence suggests the MJO can also contribute to the speed of development and intensity of El Nino and La Nina episodes as well as influencing the onset of sudden stratospheric warming events. In fact, a strong cycle of the MJO is considered an important driver of the 2018 sudden stratospheric warming event that resulted in freezing temperatures and heavy snowfall across the UK in an event known as the Beast from the East. The MJO not only enhances the predictability of tropical weather, the teleconnections to the middle latitudes can also enhance the predictability of mid-latitude weather systems, up to several weeks ahead. It influences European weather by affecting the North Atlantic Oscillation. It usually takes about 10 to 12 days for the influence of the MJO to become apparent. A positive North Atlantic Oscillation Index which brings milder and wetter weather across the UK, tends to be preceded by phase 3 and 4 of the MJO. A negative index, which influences a blocked weather pattern and is often associated with colder and drier weather across the UK, tends to be preceded by phase 6 and 7. All in all, the MJO is an important driver of global weather and can influence the North Atlantic Oscillation, meaning it has a notable influence on European weather.